the P word, uh, we, we can't not discuss it, but it may not be your lead paragraph. You know, it intersects with a lot of really touchy political issues, so immigration and abortion and religion. And we recognize and we understand that, but that's not an excuse for not talking about the implications of population growth, because it, it matters, it matters a lot to the future of our children. Dave Garland, I'm going to come back to you because the whole issue is about population growth. And the mere mention of population control sort of brings fear into the corridors of government. It's a taboo that we've got to break down. And, and as much as I want to compliment the United Nations for the work that they're doing, and it is important work, it would help if we could embolden them and embolden other organizations such as Sierra Club to be more honest and frank in their discussing the very fact that the number of people on the planet today cannot be supported sustainably by the Earth. Talking about population doesn't mean control. It means being knowledgeable about the decisions we're making so we can make healthy decisions for a better future. It's not about dictating how many children someone should have. It does have to be made safe to talk about population. This is the big issue. It underlies everything else. You know, every other environmental problem is exacerbated by having more of us who are polluting, more of us who are using resources, more of us who are sprawling out. There are millions of people worldwide working on their own local issues and on global issues, uh, but I think that their efforts will be doomed to failure if we do not address the, uh, the overriding problem of overpopulation and overuse of resources. Whoa, whoa.